Hey, here's check number two. It's Roger Emerson. I'm so glad to be with you. It is a Monday morning moment. I've been all around the country this, uh, this past fall, worked with over two dozen choirs, middle school and high school. Uh, I feel your pain. It's, uh, it's been a rough slog. And I just want to take a moment to encourage you um, with some ideas. And one is that you're not alone. Everyone's sort of going through this, this craziness, and uh, it's going to get better. So, stop beating yourself up. You're, you are a good teacher. It just may not seem like it at the moment, because there are just so many variables. You know, once you put a mask on a kid, awfully hard to get him to sing. And if you remember that a, um, a seventh grader has not sung since the middle of the fifth grade, um, that's problematic in and of itself. So... Um, one of the things you have to do is you got to change your expectations. You know, we are so used to sort of judging every subsequent year by what happened last year. And, uh, well, of course, last year was a real bust. But if we go back a couple years, you know, and our programs are really going full steam, this is a, a whole new ball game. Um, I just want to encourage you to have fun with your kids. Um, in fact, see... Have fun. Yeah, not always easy. Um, but one of the things that struck me, I was working with a group, uh, about 150 kids from um, six or seven rural schools in Indiana. And for the closing number I'd chosen, or the director I had chosen, build me up Buttercup. And it was like four o'clock in the afternoon and they're gonna break for dinner at five and we're just finally getting to the lighter piece. And um, you know, I, I, I sort of felt the kids starting to wane and I told the sound engineer, we're in a beautiful auditorium, I said, put on the CD, the MP3 with vocals and crank that puppy up and let's sing. And you know, it just reinforced in me how neat it is to have fun with the kids. They rock and rolled and sang at the top of their lungs through those masks. Um, we had a great time working on that tune. And, and as we look forward, I just want to encourage you, let's throw out the old expectations. If you've got a CD with vocals on it, use them. Sing along with it. Sing at your concert with the vocals on the CD. Yeah, or MP3. That's fine this year, you know. So again, it's part of your expectation. If you want to be real creative and you go, gee, I don't want full vocals, but I sure would like half vocals, is, is throw the... Uh, full version and the track version into Audacity or GarageBand and make your own mix. You can have half vocals uh, if you like, just to provide a little uh, encouragement to the kids. Um, in the comment section, I'm gonna put up like three holiday uh, songs that are just quick and easy and fun for the kids to sing. Um, and again, you can sing right from the, the score plays if you'd like. Um, but I think uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas for the next couple weeks before the, the holiday break. And uh, I've been asking myself, what is it I can do for you? Well, I'd like to give you music, but I can't. But I can give you my time. So um, uh, I want to make you this offer. If you're doing one of my pieces here, either for the holidays or in January or February, you know, for festival or concert or contest, and if you think that having a Zoom session or a Google Meet with me would be great for your kids, just let me know. Message me. We'll find a good time. There's no charge, and uh, I'll get there, and I'll cheerlead for you and the kids. So um, it's sort of the one thing I can do to help out during this time. So I just want to sign off by saying let's be grateful for all the good things that we have. Uh, you know, it is half full, not half empty. Um, and I'm reminded of something my mom said, and I take it to heart for all of us. We all need something to do, and boy, we've got that, teaching choir this year. Someone to love, all those kids, yeah, and some of them are real hellions, as you know. And finally, something to hope for. And I know it's going to get better. It is. It can't help but get better as we move forward. So um, anyway, I hope, that, um, hope you have a good holiday. And I hope that you can uh, take a deep breath, uh, give it your best shot, uh, and remember that everybody's doing the best they can. So happy holidays to all of you. Don't forget to message me if you'd like me to come and Zoom with your kids. I'm happy to do that. So until next time, it's Roger Emerson. Take care. Bye-bye.